Hello everyone, another art lesson is happening again today and we're going to do or create another portrait. We've looked at portraits already, we've looked at creating our own self-portrait with monkeys like Frida Kahlo has done, you can see that one there. And we've also created our interpretation of the Mona Lisa. So here is that drawing that we did, we started that art lesson previously from a certain book that we've been reading and that is Willie's Pictures. But today we're going to have a look at one of the other pages from the book and there's a little picture of Willie going like this and that is from a painting called The Scream. Some of you may have seen The Scream before. Here it is up here. It's This is a lithograph, like a drawing. And here's another one. And the artist is Edvard Munch. So it's titled The Scream and it's Edvard Munch. So today we're going to be doing another portrait, but this portrait we're going to make it look a little bit more expressive. So we're going to use a lead pencil and we're going to do flowing lines. This is not a realistic artwork. It's more like it's going to show a lot more emotion by using lots of line. So here we go. So you'll need to go and get your lead pencil again. I'm going to use a soft pastel or charcoal. And that means that I can show you a lot clearer than if I was drawing the lead pencil. So if you want to go get that now or get ready to start, if any time you're having trouble, stop the video and go back. You can always stop that video. Okay, are we ready to start? Excellent. All right, I'll just get my chart. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is going to put that dot up the top here. Some of you might remember, we have a little space up the top. Oh no, guess what? We're not doing that today. Have a look. We're going to come down a little bit further. I think we might come down here a little bit more. It's just above halfway. So we want some line in the sky today. So we're going to move our head down. So I'm going to actually put a little dot about here for me. And we're going to draw the head a different shape. So it's going to be like this shape. looks like Willie the Chimp's head, doesn't it? So we're going to do this shape. It's a little bit of come around, in a little bit, around, come down. It's going to be a hard drawing today. So we're going to make that look, that shape. If you can practice drawing that, start now. There's no ears on this drawing, is there? No, because the ears are covered up with hands. So we're going to do the hands last. Now if we have a look at the eyes, they're big eyes. So we're going to put the eye here, nice and big. And the other one over here, nice and big. And can you make sure you go over them a couple of times so they stand out nice and dark? And again, we're having a dot right in the middle. Make it look a bit scared. Oh, what's happening? Right, now we've got a nose that comes down. We're doing a look different this time. We're going to have a line here and a line next to it. Long skinny nose, the bridge of your nose. So two lines coming down for that. And then just two dots. Make it look like a nostril. Now this is different because this time we're showing emotion in the face and it's called the scream. So we're going to have the figure screaming. So if we're screaming, we're going to have her mouth open. There you go. Oh! See what I'm drawing there? A big long skinny oval. So we're going to draw that. Yes. Excellent. We're going to have some expression. We're going to draw a line down here and a line down here. Make it look like the person's worried. What are they screaming about? We don't know. It's not telling us anything in the picture. The man is on the bridge and he's screaming and you can see by the flowing lines that there's something happening. It's not a calm picture. There's lots happening in the background. But the next line we're going to draw is a line down here and another one. 
if you like, you can colour in that mouth a little bit more. Just make it look a bit more frightening. Not frightening, but a little bit more worried. Okay, here we go. Another line up the top. So the first thing I drew were the two eyes. Go back over those. Put the dots in the middle. The nose. The nostrils. And the big open mouth that's screaming. We're going to have a line on the forehead, another line on here. One down each side of the cheek. And one on the forehead up the top here. Okay, well now that you've got that done, we might try and outline that face to make the figure. What's that? Okay, it looks a bit more like the original. So we're going to do a skinny neck this time. Remember I've talked before about having two fingers here? Well, we might have two fingers, but we are only going to have a skinny neck. I think that's more like one of mine. So it's up to you how you're drawing that. So have it coming down a little bit. Just like I've done. And then we're going to do the little curve here. It looks like this person, this figure, is wearing a black gown. This one here's got a little curved neck in it. This one's got a V, but we're just going to. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try and draw these hands. Now this is going to be probably the hardest part, so I want you to watch. So we're just going to have the line comes down here, down to there. Right? It'll come down that line, right? make that line come down here. Looks like hair, doesn't it? But it's not really. We'll do another one on this side. Coming down there. And back up again. So it looks like there's two long hairs coming down here, which are lines. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come down here like this and down here like this. And we're going to do that curved line again. And we're going to come down to the arm, right to the bottom of the page. Now that arm has clothing on it, so we're going to have a sleeve another sleeve. This might be a little bit hard today. This is a difficult lesson to do. But we have I have done this lesson before with year one and year twos and they've handled it. Okay, we've got the sleeves. If you want to draw some lines on there that might make it look like the material is flowing down. Why don't you try and outline that nice and strong now for me. Can anyone see something we still have to do? That's right, the shoulders. We're going to do the shoulders now. The shoulders, it's a long skinny person, remember? It's a long skinny person. So we're just going to have the shoulder come over here. And over there, down the bottom. And through here. And down to the bottom. Very linear work. There's lots of line in this work. And if you're clever enough, I just want you just to shade it a little bit. If you know what shading is with your lead pencil, just shade it in. This might take you a little while. I'll just try and shade a little bit of the clothing so we can see that that's one of the darker parts. Right. Now in the background is a picture of a bridge that's coming from across. I'll show you here. There's some people in this one. But there's a line that comes back. So we're going to start from up over here. We're going to stop there. So we start from the side, we come over to the head. This is going to be hard for some students, some, some of the children, so I want you to try and do the best you can. If you can't do the bridge, 
lay the breach. That's not a problem. And I'm just drawing the line from, trying to make sure I come from here and start again. So the line flows straight across. And we might just make this a very easy bridge. So these are long and these are shorter because we're doing perspective. So when things get further away, they get smaller. That small, that's that size, get smaller and smallest. Right. Now we're just going to do the rest of the background. We're going to put a line there and a line there. And we're going to put the wood on the bridge. So all we're doing now is having some lines that go diagonally across the page. And remember, if you're having trouble with this, stop the video and go back and start again. And this is a complex artwork. This one is a lot more involved. Okay, now you can see we've got lines going down, we've got lines going across, we've got this one here which is disappearing to the background and then the, right at the top here we have a very expressive sky. So we're just going to start doing some lines, sort of wavy lines in the sky. And we might make this one, the last one here, the darkest of all, because that can be our horizon line. I'll move this over for a little bit now. Make this one our horizon line. Maybe we should have drawn that one first, but anyway, we've got that done. So I did one, two, three, four, five. So I just want that horizon line to be above the head. So I'm going to just leave that there like that. And in the background we've got some other lines which we're just going to put some lines that come across ways here. There's a lot of different lines but we don't want to make it too busy because we want people to view your artwork and have a look at it and say it does look like the screen. It does look very much like it. And there we go, we've got something, our own artwork that resembles the screen by Edvard Munch. Thank you everyone and don't forget, you can make yourself look frightening from the